Yeah, I'd like to do a video on uh, one of my favorite programs called Locate 32. This program will allow you to find pretty much anything anywhere on your hard drives, LAN drives, etc. I'm going to go ahead and run it just so you can see what I'm talking about here. Uh, you run this Locate 32 program and uh, you can type in a file name. For example, suppose I'm looking for a movie program. I can type in movie and hit enter and oh my goodness look at this you have all these places where movie pops up and uh, it's on the C drive and on the D drive and on the K drive and the N drive uh, I have several drives in here you have all these different things that uh, have the word movie in them uh, you can also limit where you're searching and you go over here and you say okay on this one I only want to find documents in let's say I have a drive on here called N so now you say you go up here and you hit the enter and now the only uh, gotta come down in this one the only drive that it's going to look at is the uh, N drive and as you can see I've got a lot of uh, things that have to do with movies uh, let's try a different one. How about uh, how about ICOM? Uh, we'll try RSBA. I don't know. Just put in that much. And here on the N drive, I have uh, the version one and two, and I've got the version one, and I have ISO images. And I can go over here and I can click on date modified, and I can say where's the eleven eleven one must have been the latest one and uh, then here's the oldest one I have down here so the question is how do you get uh, locate 32 and uh, so I'll come back to how you uh, how you create how you add a database and uh, these are all my databases how you add one and I can look on any one of these drives over here and we'll see how you add individual drives here in a moment so let me put uh, locate 32 away and let's come back and we're going to search the web for locate 32 now when you when you search for locate 32 don't get it from any of these other sources there's a whole lot of places that uh, you know free download yeah well forget it don't use any of these get it from the developer it's a free program uh, and it's from Kajit so you come up here, oh, there it is. This is the actual manufacturer or the developer of this program. I visited this page many times uh, to get make sure I have the latest version. So let's go here to Kajitnet. We bring that up and locate32 finds files and directories based on file and folder names, saves database names, blah, blah, blah. And uh, it's an older program, so and it just works. It works in Windows 10, works in 9, and all, all oh, sorry, Windows 10, 8, 7, you name it. Next thing is you want to get the version for your system, and it's a Windows program. Uh, you can go back and get older versions. So you can grab either the 64-bit uh, version or uh, the 32-bit version. I've downloaded the 64-bit version, so you say you want this one and uh, you'll end up getting this locate32 zip file and you're gonna save it as something so I put all my files in a directory called install these if I ever have to reinstall Windows again uh, I can put Windows on but I also know where all my files are located so let me come down here to install these FGHI install these and uh, I have a lot of files in here. I've, I've highlighted some of them. And let's look up Locate32 if it's in here under L. F G H I J K L. There's Locate32. So I click on this. And this one is version 3.11. It looks like I have this one already, which I got uh, a while ago but there's nothing wrong with downloading even though it says it's the same file name sometimes these uh, developers 
put tweaks in their files and then give, put them out as the same name. So I'm just going to go ahead and save this and I want to replace it and so uh, it'll uh, come down here and give me the latest version of Locate32. And here's uh, the fellow that wrote it, last updated on 2014, but here's a program that just works. So let's go ahead and put this away and then you install the program. I suppose we could go back over here to the uh, the locate32 directory where I just put it and uh, let's see where why isn't this coming out double click this there we go over here to D I'm gonna type the word uh, I for install these there it is and then I'm gonna hit L for locate and uh, there it is these are two other interesting programs by the way long file name finder and long file path uh, not in this video but you may find that uh, you have some pathways with directories that are inside other directories which are inside other directories and then very long file names this is often the case with uh, mp3 music that you might have they have long file names with the album and the name and the author and the, you know, the developers and the you name it anyway so go over here and uh, we can go ahead and find locate 32 uh, you'd unzip it and there's the locate32 files but I'll go ahead and unzip this and and uh, I want to pause this and we'll install well forget it I'm just gonna pretend that I've already installed it it's already running and uh, we're gonna put this away and we're gonna go back to locate32 put that away let me run the locate32 I put it down here in the in the uh, taskbar so how do you create a directory of a drive? That's the key here. That's one of the keys. So you go here to Tools, Settings, and I'll give you, I'll let you take a look at a database I've already created. Let's say here's the one on, uh, on uh, I don't know, um, one of my network drives. Let's say I'll pick 32 because 32 is out there. So you go here and edit, and when you create a, uh, when you create a index of a directory first thing you do is you give it a name ls32 whatever and then you want to store it somewhere and it's going to store it here with a name like this you can change this and mine are all in this o drive and i've set up my system to save everything on an external drive it'll probably come out as c drive up here one of the things you want to do is you do not want to use unicode characters set that's a very uh, elaborate character set you just just use plain old dos you know characters you don't need these international characters unless you want to try it and then you want to do a thing called custom if you don't do custom it's going to index everything on your drive so you do custom and then you come down here and you add a directory let's say and it's going to want to know where you would like me to go to index this drive. You can go to network and you can go through all this uh, stuff and find your find the drive that you want to do and let's say it's uh, the 32 ls32 and uh, you just go ahead and get the root directory of this but I've already done this you can actually type in the name of that in that folder name it'll go find it and in my case um, it's listing a lot of it's listing all the separate subdirectories of my ls32 uh, you can try just getting the drive directly but I have not had good luck with that sometimes you don't want to index the entire LAN drive you want to get individual subdirectories so that's what I've done here you say okay and then uh, you can be done with this one okay and then uh, when you're ready to index the drive you come up here to file and you can either update all the databases you can update selected databases uh, I sometimes start with no database and then I add and you can look at all the threads you can create you just add a thread and you can have it indexing the D drive while it's indexing the M drive and the uh, old Dell K drive and you can have it index several drives simultaneously but if all I wanted to do was to update one drive, I come up here and I say, oh, I just want the one drive. So let me just pick, I'll just pick the D drive since I just uh, added a, uh, a file to it. So I say index the old D drive. And then down in the lower corner, it's already done. 
and then I can say I want to find files, find using certain databases, and instead of using them all, I could use just D by saying, no, I don't want the latest, I want to have uh, no database, and then I'm just going to pick the D drive, and I say uh, OK, and it'll immediately tell me everything on the D drive, and you can stop this, you say stop that search for a moment and uh, I'm using only this database but I'm going to make sure that that's all I'm using uh, find using databases and I only want to use the D drive so now I want to find to locate and uh, it says and install these and I take a look at the date modified and lo and behold there's today's date and uh, there's the zip file I just downloaded and if I want to go to that subdirectory I can just click on the subdirectory or I can right click on the file name and say open the folder I can also uh, click on this and open the folder so that's it